This video slash stream is sponsored by TradersCentral.com. Traders Central provide funding for traders, spot cryptocurrency exchange services, and access to trading tools like copy trade softwares, portfolio tracking, and a social platform exclusively for communicating with your traders' friends. Sign up using the link in the descriptions and get up to 30% off on your first plan. Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. Today let us look at the price action for gold, US dollar, currency pairs. Before that, let us look at the economic calendar for today. Today is Tuesday, May 24th. We have lots of low impacting news coming up on major currency pairs. And at 1 pm we have high impacting news for euro related currency pairs. And at 2 pm we have medium impacting news for British pound related currency pairs. Again at 7.15 pm we have medium impacting news for US dollar currency pairs. Again at 11.30 pm we have medium impacting news coming up for euro related currency pairs. So request you to consider this economic calendar schedules while deciding on your trade entry and exits. Let us begin our gold analysis. I am in daily time frame now. When we look at the price action in daily time frame, previously it went on a bullish trend. Again it has retraced to the level where it started its bullish trend. So this level will be acting as a very strong support if the price action wants to go on a bearish trend reversal. And when we look at the current trend of the price action, I am drawing a trend line or support line. And previously the price action was in a bearish trend and it broke this support line went and tested the 100% retracement level of the previous price action and currently it has broken this resistance line also and it is trading above this resistance line and also it has formed a similar to one double bottom pattern and it has broken the neck level of the double bottom pattern also and it has completed the 100% retracement of the double bottom pattern also so currently when we consider the trend of the price action it is in a bullish trend because it has broken this resistance line so if the price action needs to continue its bearish trend it has to first break this support line and also the neck line of the double bottom pattern so this trend line will be acting as a support line for the future price action and when we look at the retracement level from here it started falling on a bearish trend reversal and currently it is trading around the resistance level of 23.60 percentage in Fibonacci's retracement tool. So if the bullish trend continues we can expect the price action to retrace up to the 50% level which is going to be around 19.28. And this level had acted as very strong resistance level. Price had consolidated around this level then we had noticed the price to fall further on the bearish side. So the present trend in daily time frame is in a bullish side. Let us see how high it can retrace. So these are all going to be the resistance and support levels for daily time frame for the current price action. Let us do the analysis in 4 hours time frame. I am in 4 hours time frame. In 4 hours time frame also I am drawing a trend line or resistance line. So here also if the bullish trend continues we can expect it to retrace up to this resistance line only when the price action breaks this resistance line we can expect the bullish trend reversal to start in gold in the past we have noticed the price action to bounce back from this resistance level so this line will be acting as a very strong decision point whether the bullish trend will continue or a bearish trend reversal is going to start from this level or not and between this area also it is a very strong resistance zone because we have noticed the price action to bounce back on the bullish side from this level. So it has to break the resistance level between 1927 to 1893 in order to continue its bullish trend reversal. Let us do the analysis in hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame. For hourly time frame I am drawing one more resistance line. From here it started its bearish trend reversal. And it has clearly broken this resistance line and currently when we notice the price action 
it is in a very nice bullish trend reversal so as long as the price action is trading above this support line we can expect the price action to retrace and to bounce back on the bullish trend reversal only when the price action breaks this support line we can expect a bearish side trade to start on gold currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1865 to 1853 so if the price action breaks this resistance level we can expect a further continuation of the bullish trend let us mark the support and resistance levels so these are all the resistance and support levels for the current price action let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame i am in 30 minutes time frame in 30 minutes time frame also i am drawing one more trend line from where it bounce back from the hourly time frame support line and i am connecting all the lows over here and here we can notice that previously the price action momentarily broke this support line and again bounced back on the bullish side but again we can notice it doesn't have enough bullishness and currently the price action is in a retracement to retest on this hourly time frame support line or trend line so this area between 1865 to 1853 is acting as a very strong resistance zone and currently we are noticing the price action to retrace to gather enough momentum to break this resistance level for 30 minutes time frame as long as this resistance line is holding we can expect the price action to trend on the bearish side once this resistance line is broken we can expect the bullish side trend to start currently it has broken this support line wait for the candlesticks to close below this support level of 1853 in order to get the confirmation on the bearish side let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values in blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 30 minutes time frame let us do the analysis in 5 minutes time frame i'm in 5 minutes time frame here in 5 minutes time frame we can clearly notice that the price action has bounced back from the 30 minutes time frame and currently the price action is consolidating within this resistance line and the support line from the daily time frame wait for the price action to break this support line or to break this resistance line from the 30 minutes time frame in order to take a directional trade let us mark the support and resistance levels so these are all the resistance and support levels for 5 minutes time frame as long as the price action is trading below this resistance line from the 30 minutes time frame it is a bearish trend once the price action breaks this resistance line we can expect the bullish side trend to start in 5 minutes time frame we have come to end of today's analysis thank you for watching this video if you have found this video to be useful press that like button and share this video with your friends